Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am a part-time reseller. I have a normal full-time job, but I try to find time to be successful and have a business on eBay and on Poshmark and now on YouTube. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. So I'm so excited. I'm on my way to the bins. It's my favorite day, so it's a Friday I'm off, so I go to the bins twice a month, and it's every other Friday. So I literally could not sleep. I woke up at 3.30. Well, my dogs usually wake me up around that time to go out, and they have to eat, of course, so I cave and I feed them. But I could not go back to sleep since I knew in just a couple short hours that I would be going to the bins. So I'm sure you all can relate if you have ever been to the bins. It's so much fun so they basically charge by the pound for clothing so it's not per item it's by pound and for clothing it's i believe it's around a dollar 75 correct me if i'm wrong i don't know the exact price but i'm very very excited i am on my way now it's a little bit after seven i made a quick youtube video so that kind of put me behind this morning I'm super, super excited. I really don't need any more items because I have an enormous death pile that I need to tend to, but I absolutely love going to the bins. I've been trying to list more frequently, so I have been getting more sales. And as you all know, that's the key to success is just listing. So I'm, today I'm going to the bins and then I am getting my eyebrows done. So it's something new that I'm doing, it's called microblading. So I've already done it once, I guess you're supposed to do it again and get a fill in six weeks. So you'll see how they look after. <laughs> so I am on my way to the bins and I will try to get some footage. I know I don't get a ton of footage inside the bins. I get some shoes today. My favorite thing about the bins is, are the shoes and they don't bring the shoes out until around 8.30 to 9. So I have to be on it because no one makes an announcement. It's like, here's the shoes. They only bring them out once a day. So, and people are crazy about the shoes. So you really have to be aggressive and I don't mind being aggressive, but I haven't had good luck with shoes. So we'll have to see. And yes, I am getting gas. So <laughs> I will check back in with you when I'm at the bins. So it's about three hours later and I'm all done with the bins. I'm on my way to get my brows done and head home. I'm Stay gonna... in the second lane from right. Now! So I'm gonna head to get my brows done and then I will let you see what I got after. Hi everyone, I am back and I'm ready to show you what I got at the Goodwill bins. So I have a ton of stuff, so I may have to break this up into two parts and I'm not gonna give you exact comps because I just didn't have time to go and look everything up before this thrift haul, so I will try to tell you around about how much I anticipate it selling for. It may be more or less just depending on the exact comps. So I'm gonna start with clothes and then I'm gonna save the best for last. I'm gonna save the shoes for last. So actually I'm gonna start with handbags, but uh, and then I'll do clothes and then I'll do the shoes. <laughs> this is what I think is authentic maybe it's Dooney and Burke so I was looking this over and the stitching is very very precise it's very good the only reason I am questioning it is because it doesn't have Dooney and Burke on the zipper so I kind of feel like it it might be fake I don't know and then so it's got Dooney and Burke on, on this hardware right here, and then on this, of course, but I feel like it should be on this stuff too. And then when I unzip it and I look inside, there's nothing that says Dooney and Burke. So I guess the more that I think about it, the more 
I'm second guessing this. I just didn't want to leave it and have it be real. So I was looking it over. It looked in pretty good shape. Obviously I can't sell it if it's not real, but I'm gonna do some more research on this. I don't know what I would list it for, but I'm leaning, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm leaning more towards this is probably not authentic because I feel like a real designer purse would have something on the inside. It does have hardware, like I said, it do, like this says Dooney and Burke right there, but it doesn't say Dooney and Burke on the zipper or, or anything like that. But the stitching is really good. It feels like real genuine leather. It's in really good condition. So again, I'm gonna do some research and hopefully it's real. All right, so that's it for the handbags. So now I'm gonna jump right into clothes. And like I said, I haven't done comps on any of this. I'm just going to estimate what I'm going to list it for. Oh, and by the way, I got my eyebrows done. They look very strange to me. <laughs> So I'm just going to have to get used to them. They're a little bit thicker than I wanted going from having no eyebrows and then all of a sudden, bam, I have eyebrows. So, <laughs> so I have a hard time passing up American Eagle cargo shorts. So these are just khakis. I believe this is the old label because from a recent video, they got rid of the outfitters and it's just American Eagle. So with that being said, I still think that these will sell because they are cargo. So I'll probably list these for $20 to $25. This, if it fits, I'm keeping it myself. I originally thought this was Aeropostale, but I tossed it and then I saw the word cycles and I was very excited to find out that it was Harley Davidson. So it's a size medium. I usually wear an extra small to a small, but it looks pretty small to me. So I'm gonna try it on. If it doesn't fit, then I will sell it for around $25. Just pulling stuff out that I don't even know what it is. Uh, this is Madewell. So this is just a open cardigan sweater. It's got pockets here. It's super soft material. So let me see what it's made out of. Since it's made well. <laughs> okay, so it's got 30% merino wool and then 10% alpaca. So that will increase the value of it. Anytime it's got alpaca or merino wool, or anything like that, it usually increases the value of the item. This is what I believe is a vintage tag of Express. Doesn't have a great sell through rate. It doesn't sell for a ton, but it is cable knit. And then I did see the fabric is 50% lamb's wool, 40% Angora rabbit hair. So that's why I decided to pick it up since it's at the bins. I might have been a little bit more selective if it was at the regular Goodwill, but it's super soft and it just has good quality. And I like that it's got that vintage tag on there. So I'm thinking maybe around 25 to 30 on that. This is for me, it's just a little, something I can wear at work. It's just a little gray, little sweater. This is another Madewell piece. Madewell doesn't do that great for me, but I just picked it up because it's at the bin. So I had a pair of mom jeans that sat forever. It got a ton of attention, especially on Poshmark. And they finally sold for around $30, but I originally had them listed for around 45 and it took forever to sell. So it's not my favorite brand to sell, but since this was at the bins, since we are coming into fall time. And maybe I can lot these together since they're, I think they're the same size, yeah. So Madewell, size medium. It's another blue sweater. So I'll think about maybe lotting them together or I'll list this for maybe 25 to 30. love finding this brand. It's 
Nike Air Jordan, just some gym shorts. I'll list these for 20 to 25, probably 20. Cause usually the pants go for 25. So they flip quick for the shorts. They don't flip for a lot, but they do flip quick. So I continue to pick them up. I, I love Nike Air Jordan. Bag number two. So I've had extremely good luck with the brand Harry Potter. And so this is a cardigan, a button up cardigan. And I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's anything special. Oh, it's 100% lamb's wool. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. My best friend Kristen will be very upset. She makes me watch it every weekend. <laughs> well, she has it on every weekend when she's over. So <laughs> there's a difference. But it says Gryffindors. I'll probably list this for $25. This I'm probably gonna keep for myself. It's just a Nike, cute little sweatshirt, size small. It's uh, like a heathered purple. Wouldn't have picked these up if they weren't at the bins because I am not a huge fan of this fabric, but the brand is Tommy Bahama. It's been selling pretty well for me. What size do we have here? I didn't even look. size 38. So it's 75% linen and 25% silk. So as I've mentioned in my previous video, I am very selective on what I pick up from Tommy Bahama. I basically stick to the floral Hawaiian look. The silk button down shirts are usually what I look for. This I didn't do comps on. I know the dresses do well. I can't imagine that something like this would do that great. I might keep it. <laughs> so the brand is Title Nine. It's a kind of like a golf brand, I guess. So the dresses do well. I had a, a, a skirt in this brand. It was an orange skirt that took forever to sell, but their dresses do extremely well. And I just thought this was cute. So I'll either list, I'll either keep it or list it. It's got this ruching on the side. I thought that was cute. It's got pockets. I was very, very excited about. I've never found this brand. The brand is Peruvian Connection. And it's a size small. It is a dress. It's an A-line dress. So I didn't find any flaws with it. I will probably list this around maybe 35 to 40. It's got this pleating in the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. Couldn't turn this down. I'm a huge fan of the brand Callaway. Might be a little bit biased, but uh, where is it? You can see Callaway. That's the logo right there. It's, Callaway's got that little check mark. It's obviously a golf brand. Where is the lead? Oh, that's lovely. So a uh, tag has been cut off. So that's did not realize that. So that's going to be fun trying to figure out what size these are but I should know what pattern this is, but I don't. So if you know, put it in the comments below. I'm sure I could research it, but. This is kind of an ugly dress, but the brand does extremely well for me in dresses. It sells almost immediately every time. Brand is Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a size 12, so it's a good size. Bigger sizes obviously do better. So it's this floral, purple, sleeveless dress. So there's that. I'll probably list it for around $30. This is the brand Soft Surroundings a size small it was new with tags and so it's just this long sleeve beige color it's got this detail here it's got this on the side so it's not kind of spices things up over here I will have to look for the exact 
shirt so I can use Google Lens to find it because I'm assuming it's semi new since it's got a tag. So it's got this tag, it doesn't actually have the sales tag, but I will Google Lens this and figure out how much I can sell it for. I'm thinking around maybe $30. So next brand is Talbot's. This brand has been performing extremely well for me. There was a cover up that I listed that was in my previous video from my Salvation Army video. And I swear to God, I listed it and it immediately sold on Poshmark. And I had, I had it up for maybe two minutes. So I was very surprised on that. I thought it was going to be sitting, but it sold extremely quick. It didn't sell for a lot. I had listed it for 20 and offered, made an offer to a liker on Poshmark for 15. So definitely not a ton of money, but I'll take that all day, you know, it sells right away. But Talbot's, this I believe is their older, it is their older tag, but it is a cable knit, cable knit gray sweater. And it is a button up sweater, size large. Not sure if it's made out of anything spectacular. Love when they rip off the side, the fabric tag. Let's see. Oh, it's behind here. So it is 44% rayon, 42% lamb's wool, 10% nylon, and then 4% cashmere. So I'll probably list this for 25 to $30. This I may keep, but it looks rather small and I am terrible with white, but it is Victoria's Secret. It's got this bling angel wing detail on the back. I didn't see anything. I usually don't like to pick up white because there's almost always an issue. Even if you think there's no issue and you bring it home, you're like, how did I miss that? So I have looked this over twice now and I, okay, no, that's coming off. Yeah, I haven't found anything. I'm even afraid to try it on because like I said, I can't be trusted with white, <laughs> but this is super cute and I'll either keep it or list it. I'll list it for 20 bucks. This I'm gonna try on, it's Abercrombie & Fitch. It's got this lace floral detail, it's a navy blue, it is lined. So Abercrombie & Fitch. So this is making a comeback, this brand, and you just have to be kind of selective on what you get. I had a pair of just jeans, of men's jeans. They were button fly. They were a good size. I don't remember the exact size, and they were new with tags, and they sat for, I don't know, four or five months. And so I ended up listing them, for, or I ended up selling them for, I think, maybe $25. I originally had them listed for 50 maybe. But yeah, they just didn't sell. So just do your research on this brand. I got it because I might keep it. It's got this open back, which I like. It is a size medium. I usually wear a size small, but it looks pretty tiny. So it's a mini skirt or mini, dr mini dress. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to make myself a drink and then we're gonna look at the shoes. All right. I'm back. I made myself a drink. I put on this hat because it's awesome and I'm sick of looking at my eyebrows. So it's five o'clock and I have a drink and I'm ready for the shoes. This is, I wish I could say that I thrifted this hat, but it's actually not what happened. So Kevin and I were boating and we saw this hat floating in the golf. And we thought it was a person. So we went up there and then we realized that nobody was there. And this is just a fabulous hat that I found. So I decided to keep it and now I'm wearing it. So, all right, so next, so now we're doing the shoes. I don't pick up all of Sperry's shoes, but I do pick up the leather ones and the leather ones do pretty well. These had very little wear to them, it looked like. So, and the bottoms still look really good. They are a size eight. I hate selling size eight shoes. <laughs> Darn it. 
but hopefully they'll sell. I'll probably list these for around 25 to 30. And then these are incredibly white for being used white shoes from the bins, but these are Adidas. They had very minimal wear, but now I am second guessing myself once again because I don't see any sizes on this. Are these fake Adidas? I don't know. I don't know what these are. They, oh no, 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 okay. Whew. All right, there's a size tag right there. All right, so these are a size 14. Well, someone's got some big feet. So size 14, hopefully they're not fake. They look in really good condition. Next pair is Steve Madden. And I've actually never really thought to pick up Steve Madden shoes before, but another YouTuber had recommended picking them up and they sell for pretty well. These look extremely comfortable. They have memory foam in them. So they're size 13. They have a, a rubber sole. So we'll probably list these for 25 to 30, probably around $30. Oh, hey, Pim. It's Penny's birthday this weekend. She's right here. You can't really see her. Say hi, Pin. Here comes Josie. So another pair of Adidas. These are also size 14. So probably the same, the same person donated these. It's a big foot, size 14. All right. So these are the cloud... Oh, wait, Adidas Neo Cloudfoot Bed. So I have the same exact shoes, but in women's, obviously. And I did not realize that. I don't know if you can see that or not. This lighting is terrible. So I'm hoping I can get that out with a magic eraser. I did notice that there were there was definitely some dirt and some wear. So I was hoping to just take a magic eraser and hoping that all of that would go away. So we'll see. So depending on how much I can get out, if I can get them looking really good again, probably around $30, if not 25. Here are another pair of Sperry's. So these looked in pretty good condition. I'll probably list these for around $25. I was really excited to find these. I have never seen these Crocs before. So the brand is Croc. I pick up almost everything in Croc and it sells pretty much immediately. It says Crocs right there. So it's size 10 in men's. They look kind of small for size 10, but it's what it says. It says M10. So I'm assuming that means men's 10. <laughs> so I probably will sell these around 25. I did not see this wear either. That's very disappointing. Dang it. This is why you need to really look over your items at the bins. I'm always in a hurry. I had my eyebrow appointment. <laughs> I was in a hurry, but there is definitely, this is, the brand is Olakai. That's what that symbol, or that's what their logo looks like. But there's definitely some wear to these. And they're a small men's shoe size. Can't even read it. Let's see. So size nine. So I don't know what I'll sell these for now. Uh, maybe $20, hopefully. So <laughs> it has that logo on the front too. So these are men's ASICs and they are in pretty good condition. They have something called flight foam soles. 
So I'll have to do some research on these. I just sold a pair of ASICs. They were women's ASICs, but now I'm on an ASICs kick because of how quickly they sold. Uh, so I will have to definitely do some research on these exact model of shoes, but I would pick up ASICs, especially at the bins, if they're in good condition. These happen to be in really good condition. They do need a little bit of work right there, so that won't take too long, but they are pretty much flawless otherwise. So I saved the best for last. I think, oh wait, no, I have a couple more. So just a pair of Crocs. I almost put them back just because, I don't know, they're red. But Crocs, like I said, they do extremely well for me. So I mean, if I price them right, so they're a child's 13. If I price them right, they will sell right away. So this is random, but Kevin just booked us a trip to Atlantis. I'm so excited. So uh, unfortunately there's no, you don't want to thrift in the Bahamas, but, <laughs> but we are going in at the end of September. So I'm super excited. We're going for four or five days. We, I haven't even flown since COVID. So the last, the last time I flew was in December of 2019 to see my parents in Michigan. And I haven't, we haven't gone anywhere. So this is our first trip uh, since COVID. So super excited. We'll be going in September. So the hat reminded, I don't know. So I have to bring the hat, obviously. All right. So I bought these just because they're at the bins. They look in pretty good quality, but the brand is Lucky Brand. And I don't know. I mean, I know that Birkenstocks will sell regardless of if they have this staining from the feet. But I don't know if Lucky Brand will be so lucky, but it's, we we shall have to see. They are a size nine and a half, so I thought they were cute. And there is damage to them. Did not notice that either. So we'll sell these hopefully for fifteen with the damage. So my excitement is is slowly dwindling, but I do have one more item that's very exciting that I have been holding out on. So I found my first ever pair of Doc Martens. And I didn't know what they were, I just felt the quality. And I was looking all around because I, I have terrible vision so I couldn't really read. But I noticed the yellow stitching. So anytime you see yellow stitching, you want to see if it's Doc Martens. And it indeed was. So our men's, they are a size 10 and they are in very good condition. So super excited for this. I am hoping to maybe list them for $50, but I'll have to check comps and see the exact model and, and how much they're going for currently. But I was super pumped about these. So I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me for my happy hour. <laughs> and I will be doing a thrift haul in the near future. So make sure you hit like and subscribe if you really like this content. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.